against the Gamecocks through the hands of Tyrell Ward and a turnover by LSU. Transition opportunity and a slam by Onyenso in transition. Justin Edwards who missed the shot there. Same starting five for Kentucky as the game at Auburn. Fierro mm. gets inside for two. There's definitely a toughness he brings to the table that LSU needs if it's going to beat Kentucky tonight. They're going again at Onyenso trying to get him to pick up that second foul and Baker gets the basket. Just going with the ISO on Baker. And what you're going to see LSU try to do is obviously Kentucky has the size and the length, but do they have the girth that is going to try to do attack the body of Onyenso to try to get him in foul trouble. Catch and shoot jumper is good for Antonio Reeves out of Chicago, who's a Wooden Award top 20 candidate. Yeah, they try to stay. give him an ounce of freedom. He can knock down that shot from wherever on the court. The three from the corner for Tyrell Ward ties the game. Reeves trying to put it on the floor and get past right. Beautiful move and finish off the window under John Calipari to reach that mark. Miss inside by Baker. Offensive rebound and put back from Derek Fountain. Baker driving, got it blocked that time. King in at number 17, moving up a handful of spots. The arrow's driving lane cut off. Shot clock at five. Reeves again driving. Floater is good, boys. He really improved. Kentucky looking to run. Sweet move by Wagner with the hesitation. Couldn't finish though. Out to Reeves. He'll launch and hit. Nine straight points for Reeves. Reeves, a hot start, four of four. And he's outscored LSU by himself. Good look for Fountain. He's able to answer. That it's 6-2, that might be generous because he's a phenomenal rebounder. Catch and shoot three, on the money from Ward. Back-to-back -back LSU triples and the Tigers take the lead. Is here early on tonight for LSU. Drive and kick by Fierro. Edwards on the spot up. Great offense early on for both teams. But this Kentucky team is a team that can get up and down, and they can get in the 80s, the 90s. And so over the attack. Controlling the pace of the game is going to be critical for LSU at some juncture. He scored in double figures every game but one. He's had 13 20 point games this year. For the lead, Jordan Wright hits a three that eventually controlled by Dillingham. Dillingham penetrates, great finish off the window and a stare down of Hunter Dean. To Rob Dillingham, look at him do it off the bounce. Talk about a guy that could change gears. Well, that's an easy lay. Was the SEC leader in steals, has it. Turn and fire by Dillingham off the mark. It pinballs to Shepard and an alley-oop to Fierro for the slam. Every time Cal talks, it's similar to Jerry Jones. It's going to get taken out of context. It's going to get blown up. That's the type of personality he has. Speaking of blowing up the air with a couple of rim rocking slams. You know, just active hands, great on ball pressure. That's what Reed Shepard was able to do. And it, I mean, talk about a guy who's continuing to grow into his body. Kentucky's, when they start defending, if they can find what that rhythm is, as you see Reeves with another baseline floater with where they are defensively. And then the way Tennessee defends, and the Dalton Connect story is just insane to me that a player could go kind of not on the map at all. You need to continue to apply that pressure. DJ Wagner is really good at it, but everybody else needs to work on their defensive pressure as well. Finally, one goes down. Jordan Wright gets the bounce, the first field goal. And so she's one of the best teams in the conference at playing ISO basketball. That, they take him right to the block, exactly. Kicked it out. Ward penetrates. Floater is good. LSU back in front. Tyrell Ward, who had 16 points against South Carolina. Big first half tonight. LSU just doing one heck of a job defensively, staying in front of the ball and helping each other out. Shepard knocks Big down the shot. shot, his first points of the game. He said you played one minute against Auburn is in the game. Burks played four minutes against Auburn. He's been out there for seven or eight so far. Reeves from deep, drills a three. Played a lot of games over five years. Started out at Illinois State. Shout out Doug Collins, by the way. Hall wow. of Fame finalist. Right. Largest lead for either team in a while. Good hands by Shepard. 
And he's able to strip it and get his second steal, leading the SEC in that category. What a gorgeous finish by Reeves. And addition, who's going to be the player that actually dives on the floor for the loose ball? Oh, that's who Kentucky. Shepard defended by Wright, gets past him, into the lane, kicks it out. Good play. And Edwards spot up three, and it's a nine point lead now for Kentucky. Staying down in the stance and having active hands is so important for LSU here. Look to the left side of your screen. You're going to see Terrell Ward. How did this Terrell. happen to you? LSU down two with possession. Up and under Reed ties it up at 46. That are literally coming off the bench. They are energizers. They are offensive threats of a different elk. It wasn't really a hard foul, just a, a hard hit to the stanchion as Shepard collided with it. He completes it. This LSU team continues to fight. Third straight game, they've stormed back from a deficit, but Shepard with the basket, a hard foul. Oh, he extends the ball. Look how he extends the ball, puts it out there with his left, is able to take the contact by Dean and still finish at the rim. There's a reason why Kentucky has two guys. It's always the excuse. <laughs> by the way, Rob Dillingham out here in this game only has two points, but he averages around 15 per game. And sweaty hands for both Dillingham and Wagner. Yes, Tony Reeves, that, that should be Kentucky basketball. Five turnovers, though, by Kentucky. One by LSU in the second half. Again, Reed penetrates and scores. Lead up to five. Dillingham drives, finishes. Finally on the board. Kentucky eight and four in league play. Dillingham's three is good. Wright kicks it out to Reed. Again, driving. That's been the story for LSU. Reed just taking it downhill against the Kentucky D. Going to drive here. Gives it up. Got it back, though. Stayed with it after Ward got the deflection. Shot clock at eight. I saw. Caught that thing with complete confidence to knock it down 13 turnovers now for Kentucky here's right driving oh he missed the layup rebound are you kidding me that little guy finding a way to finish in between those trees that's 13 now for the freshman from Hickory looks to drive again going at Onyenso and another Kentucky foul hello Scotty what's up Scotty they lead the Wildcats by two late in Baton Rouge. Kentucky back within one. Oh, look at this to make sure that his foot was on the line. I'm going to tell you, I thought Rob Dillingham got fouled in that three. Tacked on the follow through. So that should get changed, and then the game would be tied at 67. I mean, how about him and Dillingham having two points in the first half? really hard and he has so much elevation on his shot as well just one of the most lethal scores in the game of college basketball today and give him a ton of credit too because there are so many players today of his stature that if they're not starting they're complaining or looking to transfer this guy's going to be a top 10 maybe top five pick he started one game and we talked to him about it today he said look I was surprised at the beginning of the year. 12 points tonight for Reed 11 in the second half what you're liking from Dillingham in this game so far is shots that I saw him take against Auburn. He faded to the left on free throws and a lot of things. It's 69 apiece. Inside two minutes to go. Huge game for Kentucky trying to keep SEC title Give it to hopes him on alive. The Give it to him on the block. Trying to build on the momentum of a big win at Auburn. They've got Alabama on Saturday. Reed driving kicks. This is close games. Yes, he does. Miss free throws. And Reed. That wow. hit the top of the backboard. It didn't go over, and it somehow goes in. It pushes the lead to four. Dillingham doesn't have to be in a hurry. Gets downhill, hangs. Ooh. Oh, what a finish. Oh, my goodness. Dillingham hung in the air. Had some English high Hallelujah. off the window and in. Hallelujah. Are you kidding me? I mean, first the rip through over the top to finish 
through the crowd with the English off the glass. Tell him, Dillingham, he is him. Fourth foul on Baker. 18 second half points for Dillingham, the outstanding freshman, trying to complete the three point play and get Kentucky within one. Calmly drills the foul shot. Kentucky is 12 of 12 at the stripe. It's a one point game. What a game. About a 22 second difference in the game and shot clocks. Wright just going to pound it into the deck at midcourt. Got to score here. You have to score here if you're LSU. And a Smart timeout. timeout. We're going to leave LSU with one. So each coach has one timeout remaining, 12 to shoot for LSU. So you have to score right now if you're LSU. I know your defense has been decent, but Rob Dillingham is on an absolute tear. I would not want to give Kentucky a shot down the stretch to win this in regulation. So, Jay, what, what's worked for LSU in the second half has been Jalen Reed attacking. Is this what you're doing here, or do you want to put it in the hands of Hannibal? I, I think you put it in the hands of Hannibal or Jordan Wright in the ball screen. Kentucky's been switching on ball screens. If they switch, they have those mismatches with likes of Will Baker down low. You can play inside out off of that and attack the mismatch. I think that's what you have to do right now. You have to get some quick action to Wright because he's been incredible getting to the lane off a of pick and roll. That is the kryptonite ultimately for Kentucky's defense. Getting on into, getting their bigs in pick and roll action. How those bigs defend at those. John Calipari, where are you going here? It's not even a question. Dillingham. I'm going to Dillingham. And by the way, I'm going to drive Dillingham on the side of Antonio Reeves and say, hey, I'm going to get you on some kind of pin down action into a ball screen or an ISO, and I'm going to allow you to drive because you cannot afford to help you talk about Reed Shepard's guy shooting 51% from the three-point line. Antonio Reeves, the guy shooting around 46% from the three-point line. You can't afford to leave those guys, which leaves Dillingham in an ISO situation. Rob Dillingham had just two points at halftime. In the second half, he has been the guy for Kentucky with 19, including that brilliant three-point play a couple of possessions ago. I mean, Dave, you know this because you call so many pro games and from playing, it's rare that you see smaller guys, guys 6'2", six, 6'2 two, six, two and a half, his size, be able to finish like that amongst the trees. Most smaller guards stop short, shoot mid-range shots or floaters, but he has such great finishing ability around the rim and shot making. I'm not, I'm not going to say nobody's like Kyrie Irving, but there are certain Englishes that he's able to use around the the rim that kind of remind me of him to a degree. They're going to have Shepard inbound the ball. And they're going to start Dillingham on the low block on the far side of the court. Now he'll come get it. 15 seconds remaining. Being defended by Ward. Dillingham jumper. Got it! <laughs> Kentucky oh, takes the lead. LSU has a timeout. They're not going to use it. Seven seconds to go. Here goes Wright with five. Right with three, driving, has it blocked, gets it back. The shot, goal! Tyrell Ward puts it in on a broken play, and LSU wins it, 75-74. Angel Reese celebrating with Tyrell Ward on a game winner. Didn't we talk today about if LSU has the right protocol? The last shot is under review. For a court storming. And how about Tyrell Ward? Jordan Wright kept it in play after it got blocked. Ward caught it, got rid of it in time. It appeared live. They're going to look at it to confirm to give LSU the win. Uh, I, I think he got it off. I mean, the ball goes up. Yeah, that's good. What a smart play by Wright, huh? I mean, just uh, Wright gets the shot blocked, but then lobs it up at the rim for Terrell Ward to make the play down the stretch. And now we talk about back-to-back -back top 20 wins for a team last year that finished at the bottom of the SEC. And maybe we need to start talking about